ambulances go for auto sequence start. 25. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 15. 12. 10. ELS go for main engine start. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. And booster ignition and lift off from Space Shuttle Discovery, taking the space station to full power for full science. This is Mission Control Houston. Discovery roll program. Run and roll, Discovery. Discovery's roll maneuver is complete. It is now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. miles per hour, one and, a half, one and a half miles in altitude, seven miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery's engines are throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Discovery, go at throttle up. Discovery, go at throttle up. The three main engines on board are throttling back up. Now one minute, 12 seconds into the flight, Discovery flying at 1,800 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, and 11 and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters, and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was six million four hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. We will now stand by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Discovery now flying 3,600 miles per hour, 32 miles in altitude, 43 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery, two engine TAL. Two engine TAL. Discovery can reach a transoceanic abort landing in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three main engines are still operating well. Discovery now flying at 4,300 miles per hour, 48 miles in altitude, and 83 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Now three minutes and 37 seconds into the flight, Discovery continuing on its path to orbit, flying at 5,000 miles per hour, 56 miles in altitude, and 127 miles downrange. Discovery, negative return. Discovery copies negative return. Discovery is now flying too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center and the Space Shuttle Landing Facility in the event of an engine failure. Now 4 minutes 15 seconds into the flight, Discovery flying at 6,000 miles per hour, 62 miles in altitude, and 177 miles downrange.
4 minutes 50 seconds into the flight, Discovery continuing on path, flying at 7,000 miles per hour, 65 miles in altitude, and 235 miles downrange. Discovery, press to ATO. Discovery, press to ATO. Five minutes, 20 sec 26 seconds into the flight, Discovery can reach a lower than planned but a safe orbit on two engines should one fail. However, all three engines are still performing well. Discovery, single engine ops three. Single engine ops three. Discovery could conduct a transatlantic abort landing on one engine should two fail at this point. Discovery flying at 9,000 miles per hour. Discovery's engines have been commanded to swivel to put the orbiter in the proper heads up position. Single engine Zaragoza 104. Single engine Zaragoza 104. Discovery can reach Zaragoza on one engine should two fail at this point. Discovery, press to Miko. Press to Miko. Discovery can reach the planned orbit on two engines. All three engines continue to operate well. Six minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Discovery flying at 11,000 miles per hour, 66 Discovery, miles in altitude. Your shutdown plan is nominal. Go for the plus X, no go the pitch. Discovery, nominal shutdown, go for the plus X, no go for the pitch. Discovery, single engine press 104, good readback. Single engine press 104. Discovery can reach its planned orbit on one engine should two fail. However, all three still performing well at 104%. Seven minutes, 35 seconds into the flight, the engines are now throttling down to maintain structural limits on the orbiter as it approaches loads near three times gravity. Discovery flying at 14,800 miles per hour, 64 miles in altitude, and 700 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Main engine cutoff is confirmed. Discovery, Houston, nominal MECO, Ohms 1 not required. Copy that, Ohms 1 not required. And external tank separation is confirmed now. 8 minutes 57 seconds into the flight, Discovery in orbit, flying at 17,500 miles per hour. Onboard Discovery, Commander Lee Archambault in the uh, commander's seat, the left front seat to his right, pilot Tony Antonelli. Seated between them and behind them is flight engineer Steve Swanson. To his right, mission specialist Joe Acaba. Down on the mid deck are mission specialist Ricky Arnold next to the hatch. On the opposite side is Mission Specialist John Phillips, and between them is Space Station Flight Engineer Koichi Wakata on his way to the International Space Station.